Hi, today we're gonna look at the Olympus 14 to 42 millimeters f3.5 to 5.6 to R. This is a lens for the micro four thirds mount and uh, it can focus uh, from 0.25 meters or 0.82 feet to infinity. Uh, it's very light, very small, it has a metal mount that contributes to the, the small weight. It's, it barely has 120, uh, one, 112 sorry, grams and uh, a 57 maximum diameter, a uh, 50 uh, millimeter length and uh, while zooming it extends, right? But uh, while focusing the front element, the filter fed does not uh, move, does not rotate and uh, it, as you can see it has a very very tiny uh, filter thread, just 37 millimeters uh, yeah what else can uh, I say about it it has eight elements in seven groups and uh, it have uh, it has seven seven diaphragm blades and uh, in uh, to to lock it in to switch it off you have to turn the switch and rotate it so when you carry it around it's uh, not also it's not only light and small but it's already very very compact as I said only 50 millimeters and in today's test we're gonna test it for sharpness vignetting and distortion and uh, we'll try to, to come up uh, with a conclusion on it so let's see how it goes at 14 millimeters, f3.5, it's decently sharp in the center, but a little softer in the corners. At f4, we do see a improvement in the corners, and probably a bit sharper in the center. f5.6, not uh, much difference, but uh, we do see a further increase in the sharpness in the corners. F8, it's similar performance, not much difference from 5.6 aperture. At F11, no much difference, but maybe a bit of diffraction. It's creeping in. Yeah, definitely. At F22, this is very, very soft because of the uh, effects of diffraction. 25 millimeters, F4.5. Similar performance as 40 millimeters. It's uh, pretty good, sharp in the center, but corners suffer a bit. At f5.6, it's it's good. At f8, similar. So it seems that 5.6 and f8 are uh, the really good apertures to use. Really sharp image in the corners from corner to corner and not much improvement in f11 f16 it gets softer because of the effects of uh, diffraction and f22 i wouldn't say it's usable and now uh, moving on to 42 millimeters it's a bit softer at 5.6 especially in the corners and uh, again at f8 it's a bit softer than the 25 and 14 millimeters focal length and only at f11 it gains a bit more so again f8 to f11 might be the hot sweet spot for 42 millimeters focal length yeah, let's see now the vignetting at 40 millimeters f3.5. We do see a bit of vignetting in the corners, not not too much. And by f4 or f5.6, maybe it's it's completely gone. 25 millimeters, a bit of vignetting at f4.5, and it's gone by f5.6 nothing at f8 42 millimeters 
I wouldn't say there is any vignetting. F5.6, either F8. As a conclusion, I would say this is a great tiny small light lens. For example, for a travel standard lens, standard zoom lens, where you have plenty of light, so you're not indoors, or I don't know, at night or whatever. And uh, if you're not looking for the perfect sharpness, uh, it, it would be a, a, a great tool to use whenever you need some, uh, a bit of, uh, to be a bit discreet. So if you don't want to, to go out with a big DSLR, a big huge lens, uh, yeah, so uh, it, it's a, a great value for the money and uh, I think you should try it. Uh, in the end, please don't forget if you like my videos on this channel, uh, you could support me by giving a like, a thumbs up, a comment uh, down below and subscribe to get all the notifications and until next time, uh, bye bye.